As the crescent moon appears on the horizon, Muslims around the world begin to anticipate the arrival of Ramadan Karim, the holiest month in the Islamic calendar. But have you ever wondered about the rich history and traditions behind this month-long observance? Join me as we delve into the fascinating origins of Ramadan Karim in Islam and discover the deep spiritual significance that has captivated believers for centuries. A month of spiritual reflection and devotion Ramadan Karim is a month-long observance which is observed by Muslims worldwide as a month of fasting, prayer, reflection and community and it holds a significant place in the Islamic calendar. Every year, Muslims around the world anticipate the arrival of Ramadan Karim, which marks the ninth month in the Islamic calendar. During this month, Muslims fast from sunrise to sunset, abstaining from food, drink, and other physical needs. Ramadan Karim is not just about abstaining from food and drink during the daylight hours, but it is also about spiritual reflection and devotion. It is a time to seek forgiveness, to strengthen one's relationship with Allah, and to engage in acts of charity and kindness towards others. The spiritual rewards of fasting are believed to be multiplied during Ramadan. Fasting in Quran It is stated in the Quran that Allah says, it was, the month of Ramadan in which the recital was sent down as guidance for mankind, and as evident explanations of the guidance and the criterion, so whoever of you witnesses the month, then he shall fast it. But whoever is sick or on a journey, then, he must fast, a period of other days. Allah wants ease for you and does not want hardship for you, and that you should complete the period, and that you should glorify Allah for having guided you, and so that you may give thanks. Fasting in Hadith, it is narrated from Hazrat Abu Huraira, the Prophet, said, whoever fasted the month of Ramadan out of sincere faith, belief, and hoping for a reward from Allah, then all his past sins will be forgiven, and whoever stood for the prayers in the night of Qadr out of sincere faith and hoping for a reward from Allah, then all his previous sins will be forgiven. Fasting in history Fasting is not for only Muslims, it has been practiced for centuries by religions such as Christianity, Confucianism, Hinduism, Judaism, Taoism, Buddhism among other. Some societies in North America fasted to serve as penance for sin and avert catastrophes. Incas of Peru and native people of Mexico observed fasts to appease their gods. Former nations such as Assyrians and the Babylonians observed fasting as a form of penance. Jews observe fasting as a form of purification and penitence on the Day of Atonement or Yom Kippur annually. The origins of Ramadan Karim date back to the time of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him it is believed that the month of Ramadan Karim was the month in which the Quran, the holy book of Islam, was first revealed to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. According to Islamic tradition, the revelation of the Quran began on the night of Laylat al-Qadr, which is also known as the night of power. Dating back to 624 CE, the first ever Ramadan was observed in the city of Medina in today's Saudi Arabia, according to the Gregorian calendar. The date also marked the second year of the Hijrat, or migration in English, which played a crucial role in Islamic history. Under paganist pressure, the small community of Muslims were forced to leave the city of Makkah and move to Medina for refuge in 622, following Prophet Muhammad's instructions to go for Hijrat, his companions, the first Muslims, chose to start their own calendar with the starting date of Hijrat, a profound transformative event, marking its beginning. The first Ramadan for Muslims happened to be in March, a spring month, in which temperatures in the Arabian Peninsula including Medina were milder compared to summertime, when intense hot weather hits both desert and urban areas. The significance of fasting it is stated in the Quran that Allah says, O you who believe, fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you, that you may develop God consciousness. Fasting is one of the key components of Ramadan Karim, and it holds great spiritual significance for Muslims. The annual observance of Ramadan is regarded as one of the five pillars of Islam and lasts 29 to 30 days, from one sighting of the crescent moon to the next. Muslims believe that fasting during Ramadan Karim helps them to develop self-discipline and to focus on their spiritual needs. It also helps to cultivate empathy and compassion for those who are less fortunate. The practice of Taravi prayers in addition to fasting, Muslims also perform Taravi prayers during Ramadan Karim. These prayers are performed after the Isha prayers, which are the daily night prayers. Taravi prayers are not obligatory, but they are highly recommended. They consist of 20 units of prayer, and they are performed in sets of two. The recitation of the Quran is an integral part of the Taravi prayers. The importance of Zakat and Sadaqah during Ramadan Karim Zakat and Sadaqah are forms of charity that hold great importance in Islam, and they are particularly emphasized during Ramadan Karim. Muslims are encouraged to give generously to those in need during this month, as acts of charity are believed to earn immense rewards from Allah.
The act of giving helps to cultivate empathy and compassion, and it strengthens the bond of brotherhood and sisterhood among Muslims. Muslims also pay zakat, a compulsory charity, during Ramadan Kareem, which is calculated as 2.5% of their total wealth. The spiritual significance of Laylat al-Qadr Laylat al-Qadr, which means, the night of power, is one of the most important nights of Ramadan Kareem. It is believed to be the night on which the first verses of the Quran were revealed to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Muslims spend the night in prayer and supplication, seeking the blessings of Allah and the forgiveness of their sins. The benefits of iftar and suhoor during Ramadan Kareem Iftar is the meal that Muslims eat after sunset, breaking their fast for the day, while suhoor is the pre-dawn meal that they eat before beginning their fast. Both of these meals hold great significance during Ramadan Kareem, as they provide nourishment for the body after a day of fasting and help to regulate the body's energy levels during the fast. It is recommended to break the fast with dates and water, as the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him used to do. The importance of family and community during Ramadan Kareem. Ramadan Kareem is a time for family and community, and it is a time to strengthen bonds with loved ones and with fellow Muslims. Muslims often gather together to break their fast and to pray Taravi prayers. It is also a time for forgiveness and reconciliation, as Muslims seek to repair any strained relationships with family members or friends. In many Muslim countries, Ramadan Kareem is a time of festivity and celebration, with colorful decorations, special foods, and lively cultural events. Ramadan Kareem is a month of great significance for Muslims around the world. It is a time of spiritual reflection and devotion, of self-discipline and self-improvement. Ramadan Kareem is a unique and special month, filled with rich traditions and customs that have been passed down through generations of Muslims.